There we go. Okay. Um, we worked on the STEM party. Uh, we really were talking about the importance of STEM, especially in early childhood and primary level. I'm currently a preschool teacher who's moving into tech. Um, and so we really were focused on that first inspiring to increase access to STEM for all children and to increase excitement about it. And yeah. yeah. So, so, so that was our main goal. Um, and we, and like Carly said, like we really wanted to um, like expose our product to a younger audience. So we were trying to think of how we can design it so that kids can also play along. Because from my understanding, or what I've been told is that kids are some of, like, some of the most frequent users of Alexa. Um, so what we started with was the experience. So like any software product, we started th thinking about how, like the customer first and how the customer would use it. And in, in our specific case right now, the customer would be a little child. So I think that makes the job a little bit harder because they don't necessarily have as much exposure as older people. So we had to make sure that our sentences and the way we communicated with the customer was very clear. And we tried to do our best in that case. So what we actually did was we went through a bunch of sent like interactions. So like, here's what Alexa would say first. Here's what we expect the customer to say, uh, and so on. And then also like, it would, we kind of dealt with it like a state machine. So if, you know, if they give the wrong answer, we would go back to the question, let them keep trying, things like that. Um, and then afterwards, yeah, we just got started. Uh, I think Ask, I'd, I'd never used Ask before, and like none of us had, and uh, I think it's a really, except him, actually. He's, <laughs> he's used that, uh, Ask before. And um, and I, I think it's a great great tool to help uh, developers and like enable them to create something like this. I'm actually surprised we got this done uh, as fast as we did. So I'm really happy about that. So now we'll actually go through the demo, and Arif here is gonna go through the whole demo and uh, interact with Alexa. So, I'm gonna hold it here, okay? Is there a way to turn the sensitivity for this, I feel? Uh, or, is, or is that bad? Uh, out of my realm of expertise. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold it right here, yeah. Alexa, open STEM party. Welcome to STEM party. It is great that you want to learn more about science, tech, Engineering and math. What is your name? My name is Arif. Hello, F. What level of difficulty would you like? Please say easy, medium, or hard. I want easy. You have chosen difficulty easy. Let me choose a random category for you. I have chosen math. The question is, what is five minus three? The answer is two. question is, true or false, 6 plus 8 is 15. My answer is true. Ah, oh, man! Oh. <laughs> correct answer. 8 plus 6 is 14. The next question is, please complete the pattern. Blue, orange, yellow, blue, orange, yellow, blue, orange, and then? The color is yellow. two of the three questions correct. Thanks for playing. That's awesome. <laughs> somewhere we didn't want to go through the whole dynamo db process so we, we actually saved it in the session and, and so all the answers are saved in the session things like that okay so you are saving your set you, you are able to save your session variables in the in that particular session without having to write back to a uh dynamo database back end yeah correct yeah okay cool yeah and, and 
and one of the things we also wanted to keep working on was uh, giving more feedback to the user whenever they get an answer wrong. Um, and so that, that's what we tried. That's why we got the second one wrong, like wrong on purpose, just to show that you know that it can also be extended to do that as well. Any other questions? Okay, great. Thank you. Awesome.